Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from Mero Creative Co. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a hexagon pattern, also known as honeycomb pattern, using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. Let's start with Adobe Illustrator. Open Illustrator and create a new document. I'm going to use a 500 by 500 pixels artboard, but definitely feel free to use any measurements that you want. Just make sure that you have a square. Click Create to make your artwork. Go to the View menu and check that the Smart Guides is active. This will help you to accurately slap and align the shapes. Right-click on the Rectangle tool to get access to the Polygon tool and click once in the middle of the artboard. I'm setting my radius to 50 and my size to 6. Remove the stroke from it to have a fill shape. With the Selection tool I'll select it and choose Object, Transform, Rotate. I'm going to rotate this through 30 degrees to have this point on the uppermost. Then go to Object, Pass, Offset, Pass. Into 4 pixels and click OK. Then give this new offset shape a random color fill. Then I select my objects and place them here. Hold down Alt key and drag a copy to the side. Use the smart guys to snap it perfectly to the side of the first shape. Create a series of aligned shapes. Select one of the colored offset shapes and select the Skissors tool. Give the top and lower right points a snip. Then drag a selection across the entire row and try dragging a duplicate while holding Alt again. This time the smart guys take notice of those points and allow you to align the shapes based on their positions. Snap the rows into place to continue the tessellation of the hexagon pattern pressing Ctrl or Command D. Then select and delete these shapes from these rows. Then I want a little bit reduce the size of my pattern and align it to the artboard. So first I group them, press Ctrl or Command G, align and ungroup them, press Shift Ctrl or Command G. Click on the one of the colored shapes, go to Select, Same. Fill color. We only needed this offset shapes to align the pattern, so now we can delete it. And now it's time to recolor our pattern. Choose a nice color palette and let's add these colors to the swatches panel. Select the eyedropper tool, which is E on your keyboard, click on the first color, then click on the new swatch icon under the swatches panel and click OK. Repeat the process with other colors in the palette. And now click on the first swatch, hold down shift and click on the last swatch and create a custom group to keep them organized. And now select the shapes randomly and recolor them as you want. If you are happy with your pattern, let's create a background. Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape with the size of your canvas. Mine is 500 by 500 pixels. And then align it. Choose the color from the swatches panel, right click and go to Arrange, Send to Back or press Shift, Ctrl or Command open bracket. To finish our pattern design, I want to add a texture. Go to Window and make sure that the transparency is active. Click on Make Mask, select the dark mask and paste your texture. Set the blending mode to Multiply and change the opacity to add some grainy tones to your artwork. So this is your first honeycomb pattern that looks really cool with this nice vintage color scheme and a subtle grunge texture. But what about Photoshop? Let's try to create a honeycomb pattern using Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to start with an artboard that is 500 by 500 pixels. Make sure that the background content is set to transparent. Before we get started, make sure that the snap is active and show smart guys and layer edges are also active. 
Click on the rectangle tool to get access to the polygon tool. Set the size to 6, hold down Alt and Shift keys and draw a hexagon. Rotate it so that we have these points at the top. And make it centered. The next step is to duplicate the hexagon. Make sure that the Move tool is selected and Auto Select Layers is active. Click on the hexagon and while holding down the Alt key, click and drag it to duplicate. I'm going to leave a small gap between them. Now I'm going to duplicate this again. Make sure that the gap is the same size between these three hexagons. Now I'm going to select two of these layers and duplicate them again. Hold down Alt key and again click and drag to duplicate them. Make sure that the points of these two hexagons are just between the three ones that are above. Now again duplicate the hexagons and move them up. Now we are going to add guides to crop the pattern. So select the first hexagon and we are going to drag a vertical guide line from the ruler to the middle of the hexagon. Now select the hexagon that's on the right and then again go to the ruler and drag a guide. Add two guidelines that pass through the middle of the hexagons on the top and to the middle of the ones on the bottom. Now click on the crop tool and crop the area that's between the guides. Then go to Edit, Define Pattern and give it a new name. Press OK to save your pattern. Let's test our pattern. Go to File, New and create a new canvas. Select the layer and go to Edit, Fill. I'm going to search for my new pattern. Click OK. If you want to recolor all the hexagons, go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click on the Create New Fill or Adjustment layer and select Solid Color. Choose a new color and press OK. Then go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask. So now we have another version of our pattern. Now I want to show you how to recolor a single hexagon. Hide this layer and select the pattern layer. Here lock the transparent pixels and choose a different color. Now you can recolor single hexagons. You can use more than one color to create a nice honeycomb pattern. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel to see more Illustrator and Photoshop tutorials. See you, goodbye!